Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Moonstruck and this movie came out in 1987 and it stars Nicolas Cage and that's all I pretty much knew about it going into the movie and it was a rom-com and I don't normally review too many rom-coms on my channel simply because uh, they're not uh, movies that I particularly connect with or I just am completely unaware of like the really good ones. But I decided to give this one a chance because I've heard good things about it and I thought this movie was really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I love the world that this movie is set in and it's, it has a lot to for me and I like the characters in this movie a lot. I find them to be interesting and I really did enjoy the goals of the film and it's just about relationships, all these different characters, and it's not just about our two main characters like Nicolas Cage. And I thought Nicolas Cage was going to be the main character of the movie, but it's actually mostly from the perspective of, uh, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, uh, Cher, who I'm completely unfamiliar with, unfortunately, but I thought she was very good in the movie, and it's mostly from uh, her perspective, and... You also get to see like her, her character's family and uh, what they're all doing individually and it's a nice uh, simple movie in a lot of ways but there's also a lot going on and I also like the music choices in the film. I think that uh, they were good music choices as well and I felt as though it added to my experience and there also isn't really too much of a plot going on like there's no super complicated overarching story really it's just characters talking and them uh, having their own personal issues and uh, going through life in just like one day and I wouldn't necessarily call this uh, maybe like a day in the life of these characters because a small thing uh, the movie takes place over the course of a few days and b I don't think this is everyday life for these characters. This is just like something that just happened to happen, <laughs> for lack of a better way of saying this. And it just shows you what happens and it makes it interesting to watch. And that's the stuff that I did like about it. And I do have to admit, while I did like Nicolas Cage in this movie, I did have to get used to his accent. <laughs> like in every scene after like a while. And what I mean by that is like the first scene you see him is like, oh, I didn't even recognize uh, him uh, just based on his voice. Cause it's like completely not what I'm used to. And then you see him in a few scenes later and then I don't know, 20, 30 minutes will go by and then he comes back and then I have to get used to it again. And I'm just saying that as a side note. I'm not saying that as a criticism. I'm just saying that, like, I had to get used to it. And I haven't really touched on either the romance or the comedy because it's a romantic comedy. I'm sure you would like to hear my thoughts on that. I thought they both worked and it was a good balance between the two. When it wanted to be funny, it was funny. When it wanted to be romantic, it was romantic. Like, uh, those things that I was entertained by and I wasn't ever cringing at the movie. And it all felt natural to me. And when things were getting uh, more serious, uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly. And there's lots of uh, memorable scenes in the movie and character moments uh, that I also really liked. And overall, it was just a really nice uh, movie that I thoroughly enjoyed watching. And I would love to see it again. And I did think that the ending was strong. And that's uh, what uh, saved the movie for me. From it just being like, oh, it had some cute moments, but I don't know if I would ever revisit it again. Like, I liked it, but not too sure if I would come back to it. But the ending, or like at least the last 20 minutes, is what made the movie pretty great overall for me. And it just handled everything well. And it was the perfect conclusion. And there's nothing else that I would want more from it. So check this movie out whenever you get the chance. I thought it was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And everything that it's going for, it achieves. And it's not a super complicated art film, but it doesn't really need to be for it to be really good. So 
With all that being said, I'm going to give Moonstruck an 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of Moonstruck and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Source Code. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.